Hello people, Mr. Atrophy here. I've tried making this video a couple times and have failed miserably. I either sound like I'm reading or I go off on an anti-Christian rant and I don't want to go off on an anti-Christian rant. But I have to admit that my beliefs will eventually inspire an anti-Christian, an anti-biblical rant. Because I do believe the Bible is wrong. I do believe it is flawed. That it is contradictory. That it is immoral. That it is evil. And that it has inspired people to do so many bad things in the world that there's no way it should be allowed to be taught to kids and stuff. But that's another story. I want to introduce my line of thinking today which is sort of agnostic, sort of atheist, sort of deist. It's complicated, partly because I refuse to label myself. I refuse to fall into line with one word systems. I don't believe in an all-powerful creator that made the universe all in one shot. And some people are like, well, what made the universe? I, I don't know. And that's not a bad thing. I don't know. It doesn't mean that God did it. It means we don't know. It means that right now it's beyond our understanding. What came before the Big Bang? What banged? We, we, we don't know. That doesn't mean it was God. It also doesn't rule out that it was God. But I think that's highly improbable, and I tend not to follow that line of thinking. God in cultures in modern times is mainly used as a psychological mechanism to quell fears, to explain the unknown, and to give reasons to one's actions. In other words, it's basically an excuse. And I believe that is weak. I do think that some being at some point may have had some influence on this world. The level of that that being exists at, I do not think is one we can comprehend. That's where the agnostic comes in. And if this being exists, I highly doubt, seeing as the way this world is, that this being has much to do with the way this world goes around, which is the deist part. The flat-out refusal to believe in the Judeo-Christian, Hindu, any of the real systems of naming a god and thinking you can know what that god wants and writing a book on what that god wants and telling people that they should follow what you think that god wants. That's the atheist part of me. That's, that's all bullshit. My views being so complex, I'm always open to new ideas. I try not to rule anything out until I've investigated it thoroughly, like uh, Christianity. One system I have investigated and did not rule out was Buddhism, because it's really open. It, it's not really a, a theist, theistic system. Uh, Buddha seems to be more of a teacher, and... It is a type of belief system that is very malleable. It, it changes wherever it goes. I really don't uh, remember reading about a time where Buddhism really moved into an area and uh, exterminated the old beliefs 
there are some occasions where like Thailand and Laos where there was cultural wars, but Buddhism was kind of a side effect of that. What I'm talking about is Buddhism moving into Japan and blending uh, with Shintoism. Buddhism moving into Tibet and blending with Bon. Buddhism moving west and even blending with Christianity at some points. And it doesn't really rule out that. It doesn't, blending Buddhism with what a culture believes doesn't really take anything away from the Buddhist idea. It doesn't change the main aspect of Buddhism. It just changes the application of it. I do find a lot of my lines of thinking very Buddhist, but there are some lines of thinking I have which are very un-Buddhist. I'm very intolerant of Christians because of my history with them and because of the way I've seen them treat people, the hypocrisy and just basically the, the lack of knowledge most Christians have about their own Bible. I ask people all of the time, you know, before I, I get into a debate with them, I say, can you explain to me what the Immaculate Conception was and who was conceived in the Immaculate Conception? And a good nine out of ten people get it wrong. And I just won't even debate with somebody that will, doesn't even know something like that. The, the Sunday Christians where their, their understanding of the Bible is limited to the one sentence that the preacher decides to preach about that, that one day. I'm not really interested in them. And if you can't demonstrate to me that you've actually read and thought about the Bible, what you think about the Bible really doesn't matter to me. I'm up for serious discussions about the Bible, the legit legitimacy and applications of it. But too often, that just turns into me getting yelled at that I'm going to hell. And shit like that, which gets really old really fast. The other YouTubers that I know that talk along this lines get horrible, horrible emails from Christians proving that they are not very Christ-like at all. If you want to say anything, they're very much like Satan, not Jesus. And I really do expect to get some of those. Most of them I'll ignore. Try to. It's going to be hard. But the, the upcoming lines in this series, the upcoming videos, will expand on certain things that, that I've studied, certain ideas that I have, people that I've read, things that I've gone over in my head and want to put into words. Some of my views are unique, and uh, when you listen to them, I think you may be a little interested, and I think it may inspire some uh, good debate. So I hope to see you guys in the future. I will try to stay respectful but I can guarantee you that at times I will not be. But that's just me. So have a nice day, and I will see you.